this, what we're trying to put together from the ladies is a sign. I said I would do a scriptural sign. So I got this sign. Actually, this was made um, by home office, home office. Because when I went and did pinners, if you guys remember, I was at pinners working the booth for Chuck Couture. And um, I don't know, they were just, had every, well, every one of us got one of these. So these were the prizes they were giving out to people who signed up for our drawing. So there was a lot of people who didn't come and claim. That's sadly, sadly, because this is a really nice frame. It is one of our frames. It is the, it's a box frame. I'm trying to remember the size. So it was already made by somebody at home office. And I thought I would use this to donate. Um, and that, but I wanted to put a scripture verse on the back. So it's a six by 18 frame. It can go this way. It can go vertically. Obviously they did it this way. So I'm going to turn it around. You see this side, there's nothing on it. So this is the side I'm going to do. And I figured I would do one of our scriptures that just came out in the new launch on the back of it. Um, there's two scriptures on this one. It's called done in love is the um, transfer that this is called. And I don't even know. I haven't even decided what to do. I think I'm just going to do it really super simple so that um, they can go with anything. This bottom one I really like, but it kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, marriage and stuff like that. I would totally do it for like um, a wedding gift. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. But I didn't think in this one, I didn't want to do that one. This other one is let all that you do be done in love. First Corinthians 16, 14, that top one. So I thought I'd use the back side of this. The front side is a white wood and the back side is a brown wood. And I'm just, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on the back side. Um, and so, oh my goodness, I think it just started raining even more since I've gotten out here. If you're just joining me, I am on YouTube. I'm Prairie Scraps and um, Prairie Scraps also on Tik, Prairie Scraps on Instagram and Facebook. And then I do have a private group on Facebook that is called um, Prairie Scraps Chalkin. So if you look me up, you can find me. Um, but that's that's what I'm up to. All the different places and TikTok and Prairie Scraps Chalkin as well. So anything you know, you don't just have. All these supplies that I'm using today to make these, I um, sell on my website. So let me know if you'd like to purchase something. Um, we also have a really fun monthly craft club. So if you'd like to sign up for that, let me just put club down below. Um, put a link if you'd like a link to my website to go shopping. And I'm, I'm just waxing this. I'm using our surface wax for this. Um, anything wood you want to wax because that will keep your transfers from, especially the first time, from um, sticking too hard as well as your pace from running too much. And with the wood, sometimes with the grain, because it's, um, hey Connie, good to see you. Um, this is our surface wax. I really love it. It is so handy. And one of our little um, microfiber pad to use on it. Um, I always try to remember to do that. Wood wax. Wood wax. Always remember that. And anything that's um, kind of uh, porous, you want to wax. So you could even wax paper if you want to use paper. So I'm just going to use a scissors. So anyway, we have fun. So put club down below if you're interested in that club. And then, of course, if you are interested in getting, if you're kind of a crafter or would like to make a little extra money on the side crafting, um, go ahead and put kit down below because you could become a designer and I would love to answer any questions kind of give you a link to get more information just more information no obligation just more information so club kit or link those are the things shop with a link go to the club I can't cut a straight line here I'm just separating these two um, transfers these are reusable transfers and this one didn't need to come off but it did Let's stick that back down. You can use them eight to ten times if you really take good care of them. Way more than that. So we're going to take this transfer off. We're going to use this one. This one actually I think is pretty much made to go on these box frames. This, what do they say, 18 by 6? 
box frame. The cool thing about it is, is you can set it up like on a shelf <coughs> or you could, you know, put a couple of nails in the wall and just kind of balance it on there. It would totally balance on it. I want to make sure this is right set up because then you could, oh, um, so it's kind of designed to be a shelf sitter. The first time we use it, we like to do the fuzzy and it just gets fuzz on it. You could do it on your t-shirt if you want. I have done that too. Um, clearly I need help with my larger transfers. I tend to be a little, you don't want it to go back on them on each other like that. Cause sometimes it does kind of break up the, the transfer a little bit. So we're just going to do this, put this down and I think I'm going to keep this one super simple. I'm just going to do white. I think the white will show up nice. I've done black on this side and it's not as nice pleasing and pleasing to look at as white is I think so that's what we're gonna do just plain white put some white paste down on there we use a, a chalk paste that's specially formulated to go in here um, let's see where is my white hopefully I have white I should have white um, it's a paste this is our chalk paste it comes in a little jar you can also get them in singles packets so if you're thinking about just starting out and just want to get a couple of small color packets you can do that if you're just starting out you should get one of our try me kits so put tm kit if that's something you're interested in and i look like i'm getting to the bottom of my paste see that we can use it right down to the bottom even when it gets you know sometimes it is water based and non-toxic mine tend to get a little bit on the dry side. I use them a lot and a lot of times I'll start talking and forget I'm talking. Oh, it's not too bad actually. I must have like put some water in here before. So sometimes if my pace are getting kind of thick, I'll put some distilled water on top of it before I shut it and kind of let it sit so it soaks in and then it's really nice and easy to get it the right consistency. You want it yogurt consistency. So let's see how we do here. Okay. I'm trying to decide I think maybe not. I think that might be a little big. We do have a squeeze. We have all different kinds of squeezy squeegees. This is the small. I think that's the one I'm gonna stick with. Um, and I'm gonna make sure everything, all the bubbles are out. You don't want any bubbles because they'll go underneath with letters especially. So I think I'm just gonna kind of lay it down at the end here. But a good size, if you use too much, you can squeegee it up and put it back in the jar and reuse it. So that's the cool thing about it. I'm trying to clean up as I go here. So, all right, here we go. I'm just going to squeegee. Sorry, I guess you can't see that very well. Get that back a little bit. All right, squeegee, just draw it across. Make sure it's filling all of those holes. Um, and like I said, you can use extra. You don't have to. Um, be chintzy with it because you can just pick it right back up, put it back into the jar. Um, I love the consistency. It's a nice, smooth consistency. And it does, it actually does kind of give a 3D effect on your projects. It's not like so smooth that you don't um, see it. And I'm just going to use this to go over the first Corinthians down here at the bottom too. And then I'm just going to try to squeegee it off. Any extra, put it right back in the jar. We use that. Let's see. Get that nice and smoothed off. Kind of spread out. It's not like a perfect squeegee. But you can see, like, you don't have to be perfect at this. It'll work out just fine. You can spread butter on toast. You can, you can do this. So... So what you all up to? Love to hear what your weather is like. Oh my goodness. Rain, rain, and more rain here. If you saw my post yesterday on my personal site, I was going to come on live last yesterday afternoon, and then, ugh, I just didn't feel well because I could feel the storm coming on that just happened here. Yeah, a little bit up on the board, and the nice thing about it being washable is you can just, especially when it's still wet, wash on it. I'm going to use one of our tools to kind of pick up this little transfer. Sometimes I can't get them out. My fingers are clumsy. All right. So peel to reveal. And if you peel slowly, 
you can make sure that you've got everything on there. And this one's kind of a cursive, kind of a farmhouse. It's got some places where it has some relief. So it's, it's actually kind of, as I'm pulling, I'm like, did I get that right? Or did I not? I'm just going to set this back on the backer and that's water soluble. So I'll just take it in the house. We have these little, um, 40 racers. I'll use that with a little bit of warm water, just, you know, warm to touch. So there it is. That was so easy peasy. Isn't that the cutest? So cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Anywhere in your house you could put that. Let all that you do, do it. be done in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And then, of course, this one's already done on the back side. Welcome to our kitchen. Isn't that the cutest? <coughs> so that's the first thing I am making for a gift to be given to someone in need. Not really in need. We're just, we're just trying to love on her. She lost all her private things, you know, like personal things. That's probably the most important. The next thing I offered to do were some oven mitts. So these I got from Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree. They were just, I think they were still a dollar. I don't know. Our Dollar Tree is dollar something now, right? Is yours a dollar something? Mine sure is. I'm thirsty. Oh, and I kind of put that out here. I'm going to get that out. So this I'm going to use actually inks on to do. And with the fabric, these actually, I, I'll just warn you, these, these oven mitts are not, our transfers don't stick on these wonderfully. Um, and I did hear she really likes green. And I did get some sage ink in. So I might use that. I couldn't find green oven mitts. I was kind of sad. So this might have to do. <coughs> Excuse me. I still got a cough from that cold I had ages ago, right? So I've got some transfers. To use on this these this is our kitchen sassy kitchen sayings they're kind of cute so it says um, chop it like it's hot with the fork which I don't really like especially for church it's getting hot in here bakers gonna bake just eat it life is short lick the bowl so I think we use the bakers gonna bake and it's hot in here for um, for this and I'm I'm not fuzzing this because <clears throat> this is fabric I am however going to find a piece of cardboard to put in here we do have an ink mat hmm, that doesn't fit I don't know if this will work or not I have one that used to fit perfectly oh there it is there it is <coughs> okay because there's a little pocket here, I like to put a piece of cardboard in here so it doesn't um, go through. This ink will go through on fabric. So like I did this t-shirt with ink. It is a permanent ink. It is non-toxic. It doesn't have an odor or anything like that, which is nice. And like I said, these Dollar Tree oven mitts are a little bit shady. So we're just going to hold on tight when we do it. We're going to put it down. The cool thing is, is you don't have to figure out like where to put it in the middle because our transfers are usually centered. So all you have to do is put it down and we're going to try sage. I think this will be okay. White shows up really good on this. So I think this one's light enough. She likes green. So that's what I'm going to do is the sage. And it's a brand new pot of ink. And this is, I'm going to try to be very careful. If you know me, you know I'm kind of a messy crafter. So we're gonna get this off here. There we go. The inks um, are a little more forgiving. You saw how I was trying to kind of rush on getting that, trying to get 
like this so that it's not all over, but I'm getting it all over myself. Nice. Um, you want to get all the ink off your fingers so you don't get on other things or on the other parts of the oven mitt. So I'm checking my fingers a lot when I'm doing working with inks. It is more forgiving as far as putting it down. The chalk paste, if you if it dries in the in the fabric of the transfer, it's a silk transfer. Um, if it dries in the fabric of the transfer, you're gonna find that it um, <coughs> it might stay in the fabric. Ooh, I got it all the way over here. Okay, and I think I'm actually gonna clean up my my small. I don't know. Don't ask me why I only have one small tells you you don't really need a ton of supplies I reuse them I I have probably half a dozen minis and then I have this small and then I have like a small I cut down I use you know cut a third off like that so I you know to do tons and tons of projects I don't have that much for um, supplies on hand you could just use what you got these wash up really nicely because they're all water soluble okay got that nice and clean I'm gonna throw my wipe away because it's starting to get kind of hairy there with all right so we're just gonna take our time and go ahead and do this um, ink pot holder with sage Let's see. Let's see. and I'm gonna try to go in one direction like I said for whatever reason I've done these Dollar Tree oven mitts before and they do tend to move a little bit they don't stick they must have something in it that is like water resistant or something um it's probably the heat stuff in it right so i think this is gonna be really cute though with the sage on it and i'm just smoothing it off it's okay you can take your time make sure you get the ink down um, it does not dry fast the ink does not after this i'll let it sit for 24 hours to dry and then i'll iron it to heat set it or you can use one of those little heat set <clears throat> iron so I'm just gonna set that aside I'm gonna check my fingers before I peel to reveal and this is such an easy if you wanted to do this for like a teacher gift you could do this for a teacher gift so easy hey Denise I haven't seen you in a while um, just go ahead and put a brownie um, mix in there along with one of those little squeegees or the you know stirring whatever they called mixer like a spoon of some sort from Dollar Tree and you've got a nice little um, gift for a teacher or for a housewarming these are fabulous housewarming gifts so it's cute isn't that cute it's hot getting hot in here see how nice that is it does it is it soaks into the fabric and like I said I will heat set this so this is ready to go <coughs> for a gift for a donation and doing a bunch of ink I think <clears throat> actually I think putting that by the heater there I think I might I'm gonna hold off on this for now I'm gonna show you oh I'm gonna do a tea towel also to go with this I thought that would be fun and this tea towel, I'm going to set this aside. So see, like this is the cardboard I had in there. You can kind of see that sage did get through there. So it does go through the fabric. It sets into the fabric. It's not, it's not going to come off. I can wash and dry these all you want. It's not going to be a problem. All right, trying not to get ink on me. It's a, it's a task. It's really a task for me. I think I'm going to just go with the sage on everything because she likes person we're making this for light screen so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna make a tea towel now this is from the dollar spot the target dollar spot and I'm just gonna go with their fold lines I'm unfolding it this is our ink mat and I just wash this the ink will go through and I wash this between, I guess it doesn't really have to be centered on there as long as my 
I was like trying to center it on there, but it really doesn't need to be. So, all right. So we're just going to stick it onto that ink mat. The nice thing about the ink mat is it doesn't matter if the ink goes through and it sticks to it. So especially with flat things like t-shirts and whatnot. And I think this one, I'm going to do life is short, lick the bowl. Um, do you think? I'm trying to th decide if red will go with this green. Don't get on me, you ink. Whew, I'm starting to sweat in here. It's hard work. Hard work. Actually, it's not. It's kind of kind of relaxing. What do you think about doing a red red bowl? Let's see if I can get this wordage. Oh my gosh. This is so creamy. It's so nice. My, some of my inks, they're getting kind of old and dried up. They still work just fine, but boy, when you get a brand new ink, it's so much fun. It's like Christmas, right? When you get a new, getting a new present. So I'm just using this sage again for the life is short. Lick the bowl. And I don't have to lick this, or lick this. I don't have to lift this at all in between because um, the inks don't, it doesn't dry in the fabric like the chalk does. So I can just leave it down, take my time, um, do what I, do it as slow or fast as I want to do. Oh, you know what? I might do a, a pink bowl because I think I'm going to use the shadow and do the shadow in this sage as well. The shadow of the bowl. Try anyway. Ugh. Oops. I maybe went into the bowl. Try not to try to get it off. No, no green bowl. I was trying to do a couple of colors here. Should I do pink? I don't know if anybody's out there. If you're out there, say hey. Make sure you like this. Tell your friends. Show me some love. Sprinkle the love for me. I have a new pink. Maybe this will be cute. What do you think? This one is marvelous. I also have, <coughs> oops, that's not it. This one, I might do this one. This one's kind of darker, fig. I'm gonna do the fig. It's a pretty color too. <clears throat> I don't know, I went a little crazy with the inks recently. This one's not too old of mine either, so this one's working pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and get some up and do the bowl. Let's give it a little variance. There was a little pink, this green, I, I don't know, it was probably eucalyptus, so this isn't the exact green, but I think, you know, inks and chalks are different, so I don't have all the same colors for both. Trying to get without getting the shadow and without ugh, tight space here for the bowl. And I want it to look nice. You can always go back if you don't get everything. When you're pulling, if you pull slowly, you can always go back and add in anything that you missed. Where am I getting? All right, smoothing that out nicely. I think this is going to be cute. I was thinking about red, but I think this pink will be this fig. Fig is the color. All right, so then you check your fingers before you peel and peel it off. See how it went. Sorry, it's not facing you. Life is short. Bowl looks good. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Lick the bowl. I think it worked. All right. I'm putting that one back on. I'll, that ink also comes off with water. So that's the cool thing about it. I'm trying not to make any messes here. I want to get this off or at least turn it around so you can take a look. This is a dollar spot towel. I feel like I have some on my finger and sure enough, I have I guess it's chalk. It's it's white, I think. 
All right, there it is. <clears throat> lick the bowl. Life is short. Lick the bowl. It's pretty cute. It did spread a little bit on that bowl, but you could totally tell what it is. And the shadow, I think, is okay. Spread out. Hopefully, I didn't. So I will, like I said, I'll let this dry for. So if you look at the back side, just to show you the back side, it's not, you know, it goes through a little bit. It's not too bad. You could kind of see it on the back side a little bit. Um, and that's good though, because you want it to like soak through into the fabric. You don't want it to go anywhere. So we're going to set this up so it doesn't, it dries on its own. Well, I hope it dries. And then you can see some of it got on my little mat here, my ink mat. So if you need any of these supplies, um, you can get them from my website. Just go ahead and put link down below. Give you a link to my website to check it out. And we have a fun um, craft club. I would love to have you join monthly craft club. So much fun. Um, just put club down below. And if you'd like to learn more about getting 40% off your craft supplies, as well as um, earning a little extra money by doing some crafting, go ahead and put kit down below and I will get you that. If you've never done Chalk Couture before and you'd like to start your first project, I highly suggest one of our Try Me kits. So put TM kit down below and I will get you a link for that so you can check that out too. Like I said, I'll just send you a link. It's no obligation whatsoever. You could take a look, look at it, decide no. But it's so much fun. Isn't that fun for some therapy? A little bit of ink. We have some permanent towel. I did the towel. I did the oven mitt. I kind of set things away so they're drying. And then um, the double-sided board. Um, I'll be donating that for somebody who lost their home. So um, kind of fun that you could do in personal, right? Personal. We want to do things sometimes that are personal. So Anyway, thanks so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing your projects, and let me know if I can help you in any way. Thanks so much. We will see you soon. Keep on crafting.